What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com recapping the news and in this video we do have some interesting stuff to talk about quite a bit of first looks from Jordan Brand but before I give you a quick breakdown greatly appreciate a thumbs up it definitely helps grow this channel trying to reach 111,000 before 2020 and each day we're getting closer so if you're not subscribed yet as well make sure to hit the red button below now as for some of the highlights we have on feed photos of the travis scott air jordan 6 in yellow worn by offset a lot of people are saying this pair is fake. I'm going to talk about that later on in the video as well as talk about some recent information I was told. Other than that, we have a first look at the Black Ferrari Air Jordan 14, the wash denim Air Jordan 6, and one of the upcoming Air Jordan 3s, part of the animal print pack. Other than that, we have a full unveiling of the Nike Doran Becker collection, more from Nike, and some upcoming Yeezy releases. And now without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. Kanye West and Steven Smith, who is the head designer over at Yeezy, recently showcased the new clog inspired Yeezy Foam Runner, and this took place during the Fast Company Innovation Festival. Also during the event, West announced plans to start making products in the United States in a Yeezy headquarters that will be located in Wyoming and on a 4,000 acre ranch. Now, as for more details on the Yeezy Foam Runner, what we know now is that the khaki colorway, which is shown, is expected to release during early 2020 and the retail price will be 75. It looks like the Adidas Yeezy Boost 700 V3 won't release in 2020 but actually this december now more than likely there will be more colorways in 2020 but the first one that is rumored to release is being called azel i believe that's how you say it and also doing a few google searches it appears that this is a play off of a biblical name now there's a few yeezy boost 350 v2s dropping with the same type theme this pair we first got a preview of due to Kanye gifting DJ Khaled. Now, they feature an all-white upper with translucent hits on the panel, and this pair is rumored to glow in the dark. In addition, they feature a new lacing system and midsole which comes with boost cushioning. At the time of shooting this, the rumored release date is December 20th, and the retail price will be $180. Last up from Adidas, we have information on the upcoming Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Desert Sage. Now, this is a Photoshop done by Yeezy Mafia, so the actual release could look different. Now, it features sage green across the prime knit upper, and then we have orange on the liner. The traditional side stripe is seen, and then we have a gum rubber outsole. So, as for a release date, one is not available, but the rumor is that this pair will release sometime during early 2020 and the retail price will be 220. Over the past several months, I reported so many release date changes for the off-white Nike Vapor Street pack. Honestly, it was a bit annoying, especially for those that were looking forward to purchase either one or multiple pairs, but Nike finally made the announcement and they confirmed that this pack, also known as Athlete in Progress Collection, will release on November 14th. Retail price is set at 190 each, and the colorways that will be available comes in polarized blue, tour yellow, and cell. The second comes in tour yellow, black, and light bone, while the third comes dressed in black, white, and laser fuchsia. As of now, one of the retailers I know you can purchase them at is Nike Sneakers. Unfortunately, this video will be out after the clot Nike Air Force One Low in Game Royal has released. However, I did want to showcase an image because we talked about the shoe featuring a tearaway upper and there wasn't any images of the upper being torn away. So we do have one as of now. So I'm going to throw that on the screen, obviously. Now there is a second colorway expected to release, which will come in rose gold, white, and gum light brown. Images for that pair has yet to leak, 
but they'll also feature a tearaway upper as well and will retail at 250. A new Nike Air Foam Posit 1 has leaked, well, just the images as of now, and it's being called Mini Swoosh. Now, more than likely, it's going to have an official nickname from Nike, and there will be additional details soon. But as of now, all we know is what the shoe features, and it comes with a black foam posit shell and then we have mini swoosh logos repeated throughout following we have silver used on the small swoosh by the toe a special graphic on the insole and a speckled translucent outsole so like i mentioned we don't have a release date retail price anything like that however more than likely they're going to either release later this month or early december we finally have a first look at the second colorway of the Peace Minus One Nike Air Force One Paranoise. Now, it looks exactly like the first colorway, so sport red lands on the swoosh as well as the lace tips. They still feature a daisy on the tongue, and then there's streaks across the midsole and outsole, which gives them that worn look. So unfortunately for this pair, they are said to be an exclusive to Korea. So nowhere else are they releasing as of now. And we don't have a set release date. However, the black and white pair will drop on November 23rd and that will be a global release. Retail price for each is 200. We are somewhat onto Jordan brand once again, this is a hybrid of Nike and Jordan brand, but Nike officially unveiled the 2019 Doran Becker Freestyle Collection. There's a total of six pairs in the collection, and the designers include Desiree Castillo, Kalia Corona, Ethan Ellis, Branson Fernando, Sawyer Miller, and Zion Thompson. The models included in this collection is the Nike SB Zoom Janowski RM, the Nike React Element 55, the Air Jordan 14, Nike Air Max Tri-X 96, Nike Zoom Pegasus Turbo 2, and the Nike Air Force One Low. To read just a bit from the press release, in 2003, the Doran Becker Freestyle Program was launched and has raised $24 million to advance the cause of children's health at Doran Becker Children's Hospital, helping to ensure that the highest standard of specialized care is available to all patients. That number is sure to grow thanks to the year's six amazing patient designers, a group we're dubbing the Super Six. Now, if you want to read more in depth on the background of each designer, as well as the shoe they created, I'll put a link in the description below, which will take you to sneakerfiles.com. Now, it's not to cut them short, but this video will probably be 30 minutes long if I read each part of the press release. So with that being said, if you do want to read more on their stories, which I suggest you do if you haven't already, but as for a release date, the entire collection is set to release on December 7th. Currently, Nike sneakers is the spot to get all the pairs. Now, I'm sure there's going to be additional retailers that will have them, and I'll make sure to let you guys know in a following video. Now, as for the retail price of each at the time of shooting this video, that isn't available, with the exception of the Air Jordan 14, and that pair will retail at 200, and they'll also release in grade school sizing, but unfortunately, I don't have a price on the grade school pair, but all that information should be available this week. Next up, we have a first look at something that's very flashy. This pair is being called the Air Jordan 1 Mid Disco Ball. Now, it's unknown if this pair is actually inspired by the 1970s, or something different. Now, the something different could be the upcoming 92nd Academy Awards that will take place on February 9th. Now, as you can see, the upper pretty much has that disco ball theme. Silver also lands on the laces and the mesh tongue. Now, why it's being linked to the Academy Awards is because of the insoles. So, it features red velvet, and if you look closely, there is an Oscar-inspired award. At the time of shooting this, a release date is not available, but this pair is expected to drop early 2020. In the release dates video, I talked about an Air Jordan 6 that would be releasing this month called Alligator, and it would be available in grade school sizing. Now, at that time, we didn't have images of the shoe, but that has changed. We now have a first look and they feature white leather across the upper while featuring crocodile or I should say alligator texture throughout, which gives them a premium like fill. Following we have black on the midsole, 
tongue overlay, jump man on the lace lock, and heel. Finishing the look is a translucent outsole. Like I mentioned, this is going to be a grade school exclusive. It's not a bad shoe overall. A lot of people said that this pair gives them motorsport vibes, but they drop on November 30th and the retail price will be 140. Each year, Nike and Doran Becker have a charity auction and this is outside of the retail release. And basically they have either a one of one or a one of two sneakers that are available for you to bid on and potentially win. As of now, all I know is that the Air Jordan 14 had an alternate version available for bidding, and this pair is limited to two. Now this pair actually sold for $35,000, but remember, it goes to a good cause. I know it's a lot of money. I definitely like them. You guys know I am a sucker for any Air Jordan 14 with the exception of the Supreme collaboration. But there'll be some images thrown obviously on the screen. And if you look closely on the tongue and by the hill, it looks like it has raindrops. And I believe it's due to Ethan, the designer of the shoe, his connections with Seattle. I believe Seattle, it rains a lot there, but I'm not entirely sure on that we got another air jordan 14 to talk about this pair i'm excited about and they're nicknamed black ferrari now the execution on this pair definitely is something different on the lateral side of the shoe we have leather it features perforations and the medial side features quilted material now i don't know the exact material and the use of materials throughout is said to be inspired by the inside of a ferrari also, they feature carbon fiber on the overlays. We have red used in the midfoot shank plate and a little bit of white on the tongue. Now, if you remember in the previous video, I talked about getting a leak of this shoe, seeing just the medial side of it, and I explained to you guys what it kind of looked like and I was expecting to get images of the shoe on Saturday, but somebody else actually posted them first and these are the images. Personally, I'm a big fan of them, but they are releasing, supposedly releasing on December 2nd. This is not locked in as of yet and the retail price will be 200. We now have a first look at the Air Jordan 6 wash denim. Now, initially this pair was expected to be black denim, but Jordan brand switched it up. And about a month or so ago, probably longer than that, we actually got to see a Photoshop and the Photoshop was based off of somebody that got to see the shoes. Shout out to Z Sneakerhead Z. And as you can see, this pair looks pretty much spot on with the Photoshop. The only difference I would say is the overlay that comes in leather and it's a bit darker than the Photoshop. Other than that, we have dark and light shades of denim across the base, black on the laces, midsole, and then we got a little bit of red that's used on the lace lock. And finishing this pair off is a milky translucent outsole. Currently, this pair is expected to release on December 28th. That date has yet to be locked in, but as of now, that's what it's looking like and the retail price will be 200. We also have a first look at the Air Jordan 3 animal print. Now this is one of at least two releases. You guys might remember a few months back, I shared a Photoshop that Z Sneakerhead Z helped put together and that Photoshop was based off of what I saw. But the other shoe, which is this, I didn't get to see. Either way, we got our first look. And honestly, I've been seeing a lot of mixed replies on this shoe. Some people love them, some people hate them. And for me, I kind of like them. It's definitely not my style, but I'm not sure what's drawing me to them. Either way, this pair features a black cell, gum light brown and multicolor color combination, highlighted with black pony hair on the base, while it features tiger, zebra, and leopard print throughout. A red Jumpman lands on the tongue, white on the midsole, and then a gum rubber outsole. This pair doesn't have a set release date nor a retail price. I'm not sure if this pair is going to release on the same date as the other, but what I was told on the other pair, that one will be exclusive to tier zero accounts and the sneakers app and drop sometime during spring of 2020. With all these first looks so far, let me know in the comment section below which pair you're most looking forward to. We have new images of the Travis Scott Air Jordan 6, known as Yellow Cactus Jack. And this shoe's actually being worn by Offset. Now, there's a couple things I wanted to address with this shoe. One is apparently there's a lot of people saying that he's wearing a pair of fakes. Now, I'm not entirely sure why people are saying that, but I have a feeling that it's based off of the color. Now, if you remember, the pair Travis Scott was wearing was more of a mustard shade 
and here it's a little bit brighter. Now, if you guys saw my first video on this shoe, which was maybe a month, a month and a half ago around that time, I mentioned that they started production on them or they were about to start production and the shade of yellow would be brighter. I'm sure some of you guys might remember that. So if it's based off the color, I highly doubt it. This looks to be what I was told about that we're going to get at retailers. Also, I'm sure that Offset has ties to Travis Scott. I'm not sure their relationship, but it would be kind of awkward for him to show up at an event or somewhere where Travis Scott was wearing a pair of fakes. I'm just not really buying it. Now, I know in the past there's been a lot of rappers who've been caught with fakes, but the way this pair looks is exactly what I've been told about as far as what the shoe was going to look like. Now, there is some more on the shoe that I wanted to fill you guys in. I'm sure you guys seen on Instagram a lot of people, they take pre-orders for shoes months and months and months in advance. Personally, I don't trust it. I have my own reasons and basically in a nutshell, if it takes too long and I pay through PayPal, I'm not able to open a case on it. So I just rather not go that route. However, I know of a few stores that are doing pre-orders on this shoe right now. Now I'm not talking about reseller stores, I'm talking about stores that actually have accounts with Jordan brand. They've been told about this shoe, not just this pair, but also the Off-White Air Jordan 5. Now their pre-order is pretty high. It's around $1,000. And unfortunately, I can't disclose the name of the store. But what I will say is if you've been into collecting sneakers for a while, you definitely heard of the store because they've had collaborations. But my main point of bringing that up was just the fact that they are coming. At least that's what I'm being told. Also, they will feature a lighter shade of yellow, just like the pair Offset's wearing. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a set date or even a time frame other than sometime during 2020. More than likely, they're still going to retail at 250. And the rumor is that there's going to be around 50,000 pairs available. Personally, I like the yellow pair a lot more than the olive but that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comment section below which pair you like best. And that recaps the news. Like always, we post it first on sneakerfalls.com and then we take it to YouTube. Like always, I appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope you guys also enjoy the rest of Veterans Day and big shout out to those that served. Also, let me know in the comment section below which pair you're most excited for in this video. And if you haven't done so already, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.